just I almost cried when I met Massimo. Oh, I'm having my, like heart palpitations. I'm so excited. He was so sweet and loving, and he invited us to breakfast. Today is a very, very, very special day. So special. And it's the impetus for this entire trip. That's right. We flew from Los Angeles to Italy for one meal. Not just any meal. Tell them where we're going to be eating today, Scott. Osteria Francescana, one of the top oh. restaurants in the entire world. And for those of you guys who have watched Aziz and Zari's Masters of None, Francescana is my favorite place. Francescana is my favorite place. <laughs> yes, they do that in the show. Uh, or also Chef's Table. Too. He's been on multiple episodes, Massimo Patoro. And so today, we are starting out in Florence. We've got about an hour and a half train ride before we're in Modena. And then we will have one of the best meals oh, of our, our lives. lives. We're taking the cost-effective way to get to Modena, and then we're gonna spend the big bucks on the meal. It's pretty easy to get to. You take a train from Florence to Bologna, switch trains, then Bologna to Modena, and then we're there. Manja, manja. So uh, we're off to a bad start because we missed our train. We were in uh, Bologna and the backup train that we had planned for is delayed 20 minutes. So it looks like a taxi is the only option and it's not gonna be cheap. How much is it? 80. All right, so um, we're in the cab and a little flustered, and a little sweaty. So the layover between the first two trains was in super short and it was a huge station, so we missed our second train. Now we have to shell out 80 euros, 70. roughly 70 euros, I don't know. We'll see when we get there um, and we shall make it, hopefully, as of now, right on time for our reservation. Things couldn't get any worse. We just hit a uh, like a bad tire in the road. Um, I'm hoping there's no flat tire. Yeah. Tutto bene? Tutto bene? Si. Ah. Just glad everyone's okay. Do I have to ring a bell or something? Say what? We're here. We made it finally. A little train trouble. A little car trouble. But we made it to our reservation. Just not sure if it's open yet. Massimo's here and like the energy in the room has just changed. And all of a sudden I can't eat. My stomach has dropped out. I'm nervous. We're waiting to meet him. There's only five tables, so he might be next. I don't know, but a little starstruck. I was really red and nervous. Oh, I almost cried when I met Massimo. The goal was obviously to eat at Austria Francescana, but to see Massimo would have been icing on Parmesan cake. And this is, <laughs> oh, I'm having my like, heart palpitations. I'm so excited. He was so sweet and loving, and he invited us to breakfast. <laughs> Some of you guys might be wondering, how did you guys get a reservation at one of the top restaurants in the world? Well, I'm gonna let Coco tell you how. Amex, baby. 
<laughs> so Osteria Franciscana is known as one of the most difficult reservations to get in the world. Now there are a few ways to get it, but I'm gonna tell you the secret way. On the first of the month, the queue opens up at 10 a.m. Italy time. So the first time I tried to get a reservation, I woke up at 1 a.m. LA time and tried to get in the queue online. There were 2,000 people in front of me in the queue. So I said, I need help from Amex. So the next month I called American Express, told them that I wanted a reservation for any point in time in September. And so they, I believe Amex has some strings to pull. So I called the Amex concierge. They were able to get the reservation for us in September at Osteria Franciscana. Bada bing, bada boom, we were in. We met some other people who were there. They did it through the online service, but they had to wait almost all day to get in there. So you really just gotta be tenacious to get the reservation. I would highly recommend going through a concierge service like Chase Sapphire Reserve or American Express Platinum or American Express Centurion. If you have the black card, then those concierge services can definitely help you secure a reservation better than just civilians can. Oh my goodness, I don't know how to put that into words, but we are gonna try our best. Yes, we just had the meal of a lifetime. We got to meet Massimo Botoro one of the best chefs in the entire world. I might have cried. I think my chest got really red because I was so excited. But he invited us to breakfast tomorrow. Uh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so he actually invited us to breakfast. We were talking to him about, well, we had a long distance relationship. He and his wife had a long distance relationship. He was yep. talking about passion. And all of a sudden he said, hey, what are you guys doing tomorrow? And said, uh, whatever you want us to do. <laughs> we got it, wait, wait. It's in there. I think it's in there and there. It's somewhere. A I got. I have the note. handwritten note, yeah. So tomorrow, I think I we're going to we go. I thought we were supposed to like play it cool with people and be like, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. We might have plans. Instead, both Scott and I were like, whatever you want us to do. <laughs> but the whole experience was magical. We did the tasting meal and then we ordered the tortellini because if you guys haven't seen Master Chef or Chef's Table, well, that is like a famous dish. So we got a little bit starstruck when we got the tortellini. The tortellini is a must. Yeah, I have to say, if I was starstruck at any point, obviously with Massimo, but then I saw the tortellini and I was like, God, I've seen you guys on TV before. Oops. Aw. Scusi. It's a very nice bell. <laughs> <laughs> and then we ordered the tasting menu and then added the tortellini. We got a little half course of the tortellini. I think that was excellent. You know, you gotta try the tasting menu because it shows the chef's creativity. But tortellini, I mean, those are the staples that you gotta try. We also did the wine pairing. Now it's not cheap. It was about 190 euro oh. to add the wine pairing, which was- Per all. person. Yeah, per person. <laughs> But that's why we came here. We came here to enjoy exactly what Massimo wanted us to. And he's an artist, he's a chef, he's a creative spirit. And that's what he wants. So I think if you go to Astoria Francescana, you want to go and experience the place as Massimo would want you to. By the way, I, had, I have like a little tie on my waist. I had to untie it in the middle of the meal because I was getting a little full. So a few other tips when you're there, Ask to take a kitchen tour if you would like, because it's pretty neat to see. And, and then the everyone can do it, by the way. Yeah. You just have to ask. Total price, this is a big <laughs> sticker shock. Total price, wine, and the tasting menu was almost a thousand euro. But you know what? I didn't hear it, I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, almost blacked out. Euro. Uh, what? Yep, sorry. <laughs> Very expensive, but you know what? Once in a lifetime, you gotta spend, you gotta live. If you're a foodie, you have to come to Osteria Franciscana. Also, have you noticed, not a tourist behind us? Nope. Nothing. Now time Amazing. for uh, a post-meal cocktail. We made friends at Osteria Franciscana, and now we're having spritzes. Go figure, right? <sighs> Just go with the flow. Go where the day takes us. Andiamo! Good morning, everyone. We are back at it again, doing the same wonderful commute. We're going to see Massimo again today. We're super excited. Uh, I mean, yes, we're still jet lagged. We thought we'd be sleeping in today, but we're up bright and early. We've got about an hour and a half train ride before, uh, yeah, hopefully everything works out. Yesterday was a bit stressful. Wouldn't be a day in Italy if we weren't running to a train. Yeah, you want to see what Massimo drives? Sweet. 
Ferrari. So that was a um, pretty cool experience. Very it was intimate. Yes, very intimate, but also kind of casual. So this is a bed and breakfast, so most people are just kind of waking up and having one of the best breakfasts you could ever have cooked by one of the best chefs in the world. That's right. So we got to see Massimo as we walked in. He was not in the back of the kitchen cooking per se, but I mean, all of his meals, all of the meals were inspired by him. Yes, and there's only 12 rooms here, and hot ticket to come by, but it seemed like a lot of the people were staying for one night and a lot of them were also eating at Osteria Francescana and having the full Massimo Vittorio experience. Yeah. I believe it's roughly $500 a night, we read online, not exactly sure, something like that. So I think we're just going to walk around the grounds a little bit, check it out, but it's been a pretty cool experience to, uh, to be able to eat at this place. We made it. <laughs>